Welcome to East of Eden Readings. I am your consciousness coordinator, Reverend Rock, aka Raheem. And tonight, I'm going to talk to y'all, the proverbial woke community. And this is a discussion that we should have had a long time ago because y'all have me confused on y'all intentions. Y'all really have me confused on y'all intentions on why and how and all of this and how y'all acquired your knowledge and the reasons behind it. For the life of me truly does not understand why my people choose to try and outsmart, outwit, challenge, attack, seek to belittle members of our now coming of age proverbial woke society. Too much egos and not enough humility, which is an attribute of a highly evolved being. All I see is perpetual civil wars amidst my beloved people about who knows what and how much more one knows than the other. It breaks my heart to see such conflict between my sisters and brothers whom I was under the impression initially we're on a mission to educate and uplift each other. And the lost souls of our tribe. How about agreeing to disagree? We all struggle vigorously to rebuild our intellect from an origin of an indoctrinated oppression amid a common formidable opponent the racist American Anglo-Saxon. And instead, we battle with each other, which is counterproductive to our original campaign. Or are you so selfishly and self-absorbed that the only reason you studied these things was to feel superior to your own kind? We have developed a God complex that inexorably evolved via inferiority complex and now want to be somehow worshipped as such. That is all ego and not the melding of unconsciousness with the conscious which is the true nature of divine completeness also known by the ancients and psychoanalytical therapist as the self. Know thyself. The eye is the symbol of consciousness. The serpent melding with the eagle. The spirit melding with the body. Second Corinthians 3.16 Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If anything defile thy temple, you are defiled because thou temple ye are. It says it right there in the King James Bible. The secret is to stop giving in to the impulses of the body in order that your luminous light, your photonious being, your angelic being, your Anunnaki being, your Elohim, your Neteru being supersedes 
all the carnal desires and passions that this physical body and this physical dimension craves. You can call on Jesus to your blue in the face. You're going to be stuck here. Sex, food, drugs, alcohol, and all these things that your body craves and desires and is imprisoned with, that is consuming you with, is going to continue to produce these same scenarios and this reality. But I'm here. I am here now. I'm giving it to you now. I'm here. Y'all been calling on a savior, a great Mahdi, a leader, somebody that can walk you into this future dimension that you've all been desiring. I'm divulging the information to you. What are you going to do about it? Now that you know, what are you going to do about it? You judge a tree by the fruit it bears. An apple tree doesn't produce oranges and a banana tree doesn't manifest plums. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and destroyed and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Luke 6, 43-45 We are all master builders, quote unquote, in our chosen fields of knowledge. Please, my brethren, let's not put our unique talents together and come up with positive solutions to our current state of being, thriving in this wilderness of North America that we are all lost in. Now, ha, I'm going to say that again. We are all master builders, quote unquote, in our chosen fields of knowledge. Please, by all means, my brethren, let's put our unique talents together and come up with positive solutions to our current state of being, thriving in this wilderness of North America that we are all Lost in. We have to stop this civil war between each other. You know stuff, I know stuff. What we need to do is get together and build, come together. You strengthen my weakness and I strengthen yours. One hand washes the other. Instead of focusing on our mishaps and defaults. Because again, let he who has no sin cast the first stone. 
judge not, least ye may be judged. For the judgment ye judge, ye shall also be judged. And when you have this body, and you're living in this dimension, in this realm, you can't help but sin. It's inevitable. So stop dwelling on that. Stop dwelling on people's faults. That's what's holding us back. That's one of the tools that they use to hold us back. Stop arguing with each other. Okay, yeah, I don't agree with this. You don't agree with this. Okay, let's agree to disagree without hating each other in the end. We all have a common goal. We all are trying to get the same point, to the same point. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. We can't get there if everybody's scribble scrabbling. You are important. I am important. We all are important. What we all have to say is important. And together, together, we will get to where we need to be. Only together. But y'all want to be like this. And I... And that's why you're struggling. That's why you're working till you're 60, 70 years old. A doorman at Walmart. A clerk at the United States Post Office. Or a Dollar General. Pregnant. But we talk about we have the best culture. Blind. Your third eye is being blurred. Now they got us, the awoke community, arguing with each other. Got our egos stimulated. Let's look past personal preferences. It is time. You have the knowledge. There's no reason why you should be trying to assert on brethren. It's counterproductive. If you are not a part of the solution... You are a part of the problem. And it's as simple as that. This is not CERN. We're not splitting atoms. This is a simple repertoire of human behavior and distinction. Stop this civil war in the woke community. I'm not asking y'all. I'm telling y'all. It's immature and counterproductive. You're woke. I shouldn't have to spank you like this. I exuded the spirit into y'all. Act accordingly. Peace. I'm Reverend Rock, your consciousness coordinator, aka Raheem, of East of Eden Readings. I love you. I love you. And I'm out.